everybody, it's Anna. Welcome to the Tuesday card in this week's tarot story. Today we have the Ten of Swords reversed. So this card does look a little bit morbid, but it's actually a very positive card. The number 10 is about completing our work, crossing the finish line, declaring victory. And swords are connected to the mind. They're about ideas and beliefs and mindsets. So when this card shows up, it tells us that we have completed the work of the mind trajectory. And actually the work of the mind is almost always um, transforming itself. It's almost always about shedding old ideas, shedding old tools, um, because the mind is in need of constant transformation. The spiritual journey is a journey of expansion and growth. And in order for the mind to stay relevant, it has to, it has to keep pace with that, or at least try to keep pace with that. And that means discarding its old structures on a semi-regular basis. So when the 10 comes up, it suggests a release of, of some important structure. And that's why the, the guy's laying flat on the ground because he's dead, because the old structure is dead. In the background, we have a C. And in the tarot, this the water always connects to intuitive wisdom. So we have this the old the old mindsets being left on the on the shore. And here we move forward into this really powerful experience of intuitive expansion and wisdom. And in the background, we have a sunrise. So that tells us there's a new beginning. Um, this card came to us reversed. And that suggests to me that even though we've completed the work, we've gotten to the 10 point, the mind is slow to believe that it is true. Um, so the mind is still holding on to the idea that there is more work to be done before we claim our new life, before we claim our victory. And that I, that's the, I read this card this way because of yesterday's card, which was the page of wands reversed. And I talked yesterday about how the page upright is about adventure, feeling adventurous and excited and optimistic and wanting to go explore things. And the reversal is almost like we're being blocked. Like there is this restless energy, this new beginning is trying to come up, but we're stopping it. And this card today, in combination with that card, suggests that there is something, our mind is not convinced we have completed the work. And the reason this is important to notice is the mind is very, very slow to agree to the fact that we have healed. Um, even when I work with someone and we have all the, we figured out all the symptoms and we, we've listed them, we've even measured how bad they are. When we check back in, all the symptoms are gone, all the intensity is gone. The evidence is showing us that the healing has taken place. The mind's like, yeah, but not really. <laughs> so the mind is just very slow to agree to its own progress and to its own power. This card shows up to say, you have done it. You have already freed yourself from the mindset. All that's left now is for you to claim it, for you to own it, and for you to, to let the page of wands from yesterday move forward into the world and discover what it's like to be on the other side of the shore. So consider today what you need to do to help yourself release and relax, to take ownership of all the work you've done. That to me seems like one of the, one of the most tragic moments in a, in a person's life that I work with when they've done all the work and then they're just, they just don't claim their own victory. So ask yourself, what is the work you've completed? What have you been working for all this time? And what does it mean for you to claim your stake? You have done it take on the new life. What does that look like? How can you make that step forward so you can get to the, to the other side of the seashore? See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you would like more content from me, please consider joining my Patreon community. The link is right here below the video. I'm committed to at least once a week um, posting content that is exclusive to my Patreon subscribers, and I do monthly giveaways where I, I send people customized tarot spreads. So if that sounds like fun to you, come on and join us. I hope to see you there.